Hi everybody, my name is Sean Towner. I'm a community ambassador with NCTE. I'm here to tell you a little story about my first trip to the NCTE convention and give you some tips for maybe how you can make your trip to the convention this year in Baltimore the best it can be. I first attended an NCTE convention in Las Vegas back in 2012. It was the first educational conference I've ever attended. It was the uh, first time I'd ever been to Las Vegas. I, when I got my program, I was just circling session that I, session after session that I wanted to attend to, to attend. There was so much good stuff to see. I filled my bag with granola bars and bottled water and just went to session after session after session nonstop. And so by Saturday, I was completely burned out. I was tired. I was anxious. I was surrounded by all these people. There was like an Eagles concert and an MMA fight. And it's just Vegas on Saturday night. I ended up in a casino buffet just eating plate after plate of meatballs and turkey legs. Um, and it was just a very stressful experience for me. I learned a lot from it. It was a great experience. I it changed my teaching career uh, for the better. But still, it was just a very, very stressful and overwhelming experience for me. So I hope the tips I'm about to give you will make your trip to NCT this year in Baltimore a little less stressful than mine was in Vegas. Tip number one, you can't see everything. It's just impossible, like logistically impossible. There's just too many sessions for you to go to. So when you get that program for the first time and you see all the good stuff that's in there, just keep in mind that you need to build in time for downtime. You need to build in time for reflection. You need to eat. You need to eat real food, not just some pre-wrapped gas station sandwich that's at the, some convention center cart. You wanna make sure you get enough sleep. You wanna make sure you have time to collaborate with colleagues if you're there with colleagues. Um, and so what I've started doing is instead of going to session after session after session, I do one session on and one session off. So I'll go to a session, I'll take a session off. I'll go to a session, I'll take a session off. I still learn a ton from the convention. I still get a great experience. It's not as stressful. I'm not constantly running around. I have time to eat and enjoy the city. And I just generally have a really good time at the convention as opposed to my convention in Vegas where I learned a lot, but I did not have a good time. Okay, so tip number two, always have a backup plan. Rooms can fill up quickly. You need to have other options if the first room that you want to go to is full or if it's just standing room only, you don't want to stand or sit on the floor for an hour. The NCT convention app can help you with this. You can just make lists of sessions that you want to go to. Um, I also recommend trying to branch out when you're choosing potential sessions to go see. Even if you don't teach college, if there's a college session that looks interesting, go to it. Every level of education is represented at NCT. So take advantage of that. Branch out, meet new people, meet people from different region, regions who teach different levels than you, work at different institutions than you. Just try and make use of the resources that all of these great people, all this experience of teaching that's at the NCT convention can provide to you. Tip number three, me time. Make some time for yourself at the convention. Explore the city. Their museum, science center, the inner harbor, the aquarium. Go to local restaurants. Put Old Bay seasoning on everything. You know, go to your go to the gym at the hotel. Um, if your hotel has a hot tub, get in that hot tub. Relax. Take some time to decompress, to reflect on what you've learned. You're going to learn stuff from the convention. That's a given. What you also want to do is make sure that you learn from the city as well. Think of it like a field trip, experiential learning. It's good stuff. Tip number four, make some little wild friends like Orlando in Orlando's Little Wild Friends, one of my favorite children's books. There's a lot of people to meet at the convention. Now, I don't like to like talk to people. I don't really initiate conversations well, but I've still had some really interesting conversations with people in session, before sessions start, in the elevator, in the hotel lobby, just around the city. When you see people with the NCT badge, you know that there's someone that you can talk to. If you see the NCT community ambassadors, you know you can always come up and talk to us. Just make sure you strike up conversation with people. Uh, learn from them. Learn from the people around you. If you have business cards, bring business cards. Make some connections. Make some new relationships. Turn those little wild friendships into long-time friendships and potential collaborations with teachers around the country and around the world. Tip number five, share. Share what you've learned. Take all this good stuff that you get at the convention. Bring it back to your school, to your department, to your level, uh, to your um, community. And then go beyond that as well. When you apply what you've learned at NCTE, share that with the world. You know, you can blog about it for NCTE. You can create a podcast. Uh, or better yet, write a proposal. Come back and present next year. Be a presenter at NCTE. Present at your local affiliate conferences. Just share your learning. 
and share the expertise. It's a not every teacher can attend NCTE, um, so it's sort of a privilege for us to attend. And we need to make sure that the learning doesn't stay at just the convention and that it doesn't stay just among the teachers who are fortunate enough to be able to afford to go to the conventions. We need to spread it to the world as well. So make sure you do that. So those are my five tips for you. I hope that they're useful. I hope that they'll help you have the best NCT convention that you can have this year. Um, if you have more questions, if you have more concerns, if you're confused about it, or you're just unsure of things, if you just want advice or want help, um, always reach out to NCTE. The, at NCTE on Twitter, the NCTE Village hashtag. You can connect with me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Mr. Towner if you want to ask me questions or if you just want to like and retweet pictures of my cats, I would greatly appreciate that. And in a couple of months when we're all at the NCTE convention together, uh, don't be afraid to talk to me or any other community ambassadors. Uh, you'll see us around. We might be wearing shirts or something. I don't know. But I'm the guy that looks like me. Um, so feel free to come up and ask questions or if you need help finding things or if you need just advice about how to negotiate the conference. I'm always be happy to help you out with that. So I hope this was useful. Um, I'll see you in Baltimore. Rock on.